okay so now let's solve the problem number six so uh, let's read it the sum of the ages taken as integer numbers of 10 people of ages 18 or older or that means uh, they give a lower limit is equal to 380 that means uh, if you want to visualize minimum could be 18 19 20 dot dot maximum no limit we could say like 100 or even more and equal to 380 okay so if we consider a average uh, an average number that is 38 because 10 people multiply by 38 equal to 380 so we can assume 38 years is uh, like a average years if 10 people have so let's uh, read out the options and find out what we can we have to find <laughs> the question was therefore we can deduce that all 10 people must be younger than 40 actually it's not necessary some people could be more than 40 years too so this is option out if one okay if one person is younger than 20 then at least one of the or, or others is older than 40 interesting uh, we'll come to this point let's uh, read other points too if one person is older than 40 then at least one of the others is younger than 20 so this is just opposite of b okay at least one person is 39 years old or older uh, this is also not in necessary there um, at least one person is at least one could be more older uh, 30 years old or older so in the questions they didn't specify that exactly it could be 39 so it's not necessary that only one person could be 39 plus or 39 it could be more it could be less it could be even no one so this statement is cross all 10 people are at least 19 years old this is not possible all 10 people uh, do not give us 380 if they are 19 less than 19 years old because we have seen the average is 38 okay so now answer actually belongs to b and c we have to find out so this is very tricky question we have to understand very carefully so in b what it said if one person is younger than 20 if one person is younger than 20 that means uh, he could be 18 years old or 19 years old then at least one of the others is older than 40 plus okay older than 40 that means 40 plus so what is our average number 38 so if one person if one person this is fixed one person okay this is fixed that means it cannot be two person or three person if one person is less than 20 that means uh, we can arbitrarily choose 18 then another person age would be how much if we consider all other ten uh, eight peoples all other eight peoples uh, average age is 38 if we consider okay then what is the difference 20 years then here how much would be the difference here is negative that means less here we have to add that age okay we have to add that age that means 38 plus 20 is 58 so the statement is correct if one person is younger than 18 then other person will be older than 40 plus or older than 40 the statement is correct so answer can be b but we didn't also check number c let's see the c now if one person is older than 40 now one person is fixed okay upper limit is fixed fixed see 38 
so one person is older than 40 didn't say how much age he could have it could be like 80 or 100 so we we can choose 100 for example then at least one of the others is younger than 20 so age difference here for simple calculation we can choose a number like uh, 98 yes for example 98 then it gives us the difference uh, 6 60 years so look can we do minus 60 from here is it possible if we do minus 60 the a should be negative so in that case this minus 60 actually have to be divided among more than on people more than on people if we divide among three people then it's very easy to guess then uh, three people okay 18 18 18 so here 20 years here 20 years less here also 20 years less then these three people and here is on four people then remaining six remaining six uh, people average age is 38 we can consider so here look at here you, i am cho choosing a different color at least one of them so at least one of them means what it could be number one one person it could be number two person it could be number three person it could be number four or five so what we can see from here for this special case if one person is 98 we need at least three people to divide the excess of ages okay so this statement is not correct so our correct answer is this one number b okay so if you have any opinions uh, please write on comment section and yeah let me know your opinion on your uh, understanding then we can discuss so this was number six